What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Sneakerhead213. Before I move forward, as always, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you can stay up to date with my latest content. Today I don't have an assistant helping me record, so this is probably going to be a little bit of a rocky angle of camera review, so bear with me. Um, so today we have obviously a Reebok Classic review. You might have seen the shoe just now in the background that we're going to be reviewing today. But there's what the box looks like. Pretty nice looking box. Just basic. Nothing too, you know, fancy. But today we're actually doing the review on the Reebok Nylon uh, Classic Times Nipsey Hustle collaboration. And there is a product code just in case you need it. Um, the inside has pretty much the StockX stuff. See, that's what I paid. StockX stickers and the paper is just the same. Comes with this uh, quality control for the material on this shoe. And what shoe is that? And that shoe is the BAM. The Reebok Classic Nylon Times Nipsey Hustle Collaboration. Very nice shoe, as you can see here. Super, super clean shoe. Give you guys a little bit of a 360 see that there very very cool shoe um, very classic looking shoe this might not be everyone's favorite shoe keep in mind I know there's a lot of people that don't like the old school shoes a lot I'm a fan of them only because you know who didn't wear a Reeboks when growing up so I mean you can't forget where you come from so that's the reason I kind of collect or not collect but like like to review the Reeboks and other classic shoes so yeah that's what it looks like As you can see it has primarily suede upper but I'm just kinda giving you guys a little 360 of the shoe before we get started here on this review so like I said these I picked up from StockX for a little bit over retail I'm not gonna lie to you guys I think retail on these was 120 yeah I think it was like 120 when they first came out but um, these I really liked um, because of the blue colorway. Um, blue is one of my favorite colors. Um, aside from like dark, like black colors and navy, um, blue, just royal blue is one of my favorite colors. But anyways, this review is to talk a little bit more about these shoes. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm trying to show you guys the best angles, but obviously this is a Reebok classic nylon that they did a collaboration with Nipsey Hussle and he pretty much shows a little bit of his roots throughout this shoe as you can see starting off with the blue suede upper you have the Reebok right there branding to see if it focuses there it is that Reebok branding there stitched in blue as well and then the suede here which explains why there was a quality control sticker inside the box and then we also see these arches here, the Reebok arches in that kind of like snake print textile material. It's leather, nothing too premium. And then you see the mesh there in blue and a little bit of white hands all throughout the upper as well as the toe box there you see. Pretty nice shoe. And then that toe box overlay and that suede material. Um, so yeah, pretty good quality suede. Nothing premium, but you know, decent for the price 120 can beat that and then on this side the same thing see that right there see it focuses there it goes and then on the tongue we actually have um, the Reebok classic branding with some more of that textile leather there see that guys and then the laces are the comes with white laces or with the blue laces I would personally keep the either the white just to show that no, I'll keep the blue ones, they look fine like that. So pretty interesting. Um so yeah, this shoe is pretty much designed to kind of like uh show where he comes from, where um Nipsey Hustle, who is a rap artist, if you don't know that by now, um from LA. See that guy's right there, it says hood on the aglets right there. And then I'm not sure what the other one says. Let's see. The other one says STA not sure what that 
is all about but I couldn't find much online about these for some reason like there wasn't too much explained about every little detail on the shoe on this one it says hustle on the aglet and then on this one it says what does it say on the other one it says the same thing so they both say the same thing you can see there um I already know the Nipsey Hustle's Die Hard fans are going to be like, STA is blah, 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 you idiot. But like I said, I just buy the shoe to review it for those of you that request it. Because there were people requesting this one on my YG times Reebok um, review. If you haven't checked those out, it's pretty much the same shoe but in red with different details. You see the dollar sign there and like a skeletal structure design. It's screen printed. See that right there. Inner liner is just your mesh inner liner as you can see in white. Nothing too fancy. It says roll in here. Um screen printed in royal blue or dodger blue. The reason he chose blue is because of his affiliation obviously with the love of uh Los Angeles uh Dodgers and rumored affiliation with um the Crips gang, so keep that in mind. Rich rolling. Uh, right here, you have a little bit of, like, is this Crenshaw, Crenshaw or something like that? I can't pronounce it right. But I know it's a neighborhood out in uh, Los Angeles. And then Slauson is another one. So he lived in both of these neighborhoods that were um, reportedly affiliated with Crips gangs. So that's uh, pretty much why I suggest you be careful where you wear these shoes if you are going to wear them. Um, especially if... You, you know your state is one of those states that's like has a lot of gang affiliations or gangs within the state just keep that in mind when you're wearing these but that's the reason he chose his colors um so keep that in mind be careful don't want to lose your life <laughs> um so yeah there's a bird's eye view of what the shoes look like let me know what you guys think about this style of recording um if you guys like this i mean i'm willing to do more of these the midsole is just your regular midsole nothing too fancy it's just regular white classic nylon midsole you can see um and then the outsole is just your regular reebok outsole wish they would do more with the outsoles um and the midsoles on these collaborations but it is what it is still a dope collaboration right here i couldn't find what this s was for online so if you guys know out there let me know it's a slawson i don't know i couldn't really tell what that S was for. I mean, that's the only thing I could think of Slauson, but I'm not sure. And then that's pretty much it. The rich rolling on the heels, guys. The rich rolling here on the heels is pretty much um, the title of some of uh, one of his most popular songs. It's according to what I read online. But you can see the textile leather there in white and right here as well. So, what do you guys think about this? The little detailing here on the back, kind of screen printed on there. It almost looks like it's, you know, engraved on it, but it's more like a glazed screen print that they use. Pretty nice detail. Um, let me know what you guys think on these shoes. Is this a W? Is this an L? Um, just let me know. I'll probably use this as my thumbnail, just to kind of gain attention <laughs> to the video. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Are these a nice shoe? Are you interested in these? Um, let me know, let me know. These are sold. Uh, follow me on Aptown Sneaker Resale on IG. We'll see you guys on the next review. Peace.